Hey everybody, it's Ron Henry Satters. I'm going to show you how to make Moroccan harissa chicken kebabs. Let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so I'll be doing this recipe based on four chicken breast fillets. If you prefer, you can use chicken fire. First thing you need to do is give these a quick clean. Trim off any excess fat, check for any bones. Once you've cleaned up all your chicken breasts, all we're going to do is slice them into little cubes like so. So, you want to try and get around at one centimeter around. Don't make them too big because they're going to take longer to cook and your chicken's going to dry out. That's the last thing you want. So guys, now to our diced chicken, I'm going to add one tablespoon of harissa paste. Now this is just a homemade one, I'll put the link in the description. Along with two tablespoons of Greek style yogurt. One tablespoon of oil. A pinch of salt. 1 tablespoon of lemon juice and finally about 3 tablespoons of chopped fresh coriander now all we want to do is just give this all a good mix we want to try and get the flavour evenly distributed throughout all our chicken now if you prefer this to be extra spicy feel free to add another tablespoon of harissa paste Now we're just going to cover this with some cling wrap and put it straight into the fridge. Alright guys, so it's the next day now, so we're ready to cook. So the first thing we're going to do is just give it another mix to make sure everything is still all combined. Because some ingredients may have settled. So guys, in my case I'm going to put them on long metal skewers like this and place them onto a grill. Now if you don't have that option available, you can put these on wooden skewers, place them on the grill, as long as you soak the skewers first, or into a frying pan. So all we need to do is thread the chicken onto skewers, and you want to try and put pieces that are about the same size onto each skewer. This will ensure it's all going to cook at the same time. Just like so. Now between each piece, just push with your fingers, just to leave a touch of a gap. This will allow the heat to get through all sections. So at this stage, just continue screwing all your chicken, or screw whatever you're going to use today. Once your grill is at high temperature, we're going to place our skewers straight on. In my case, I'm just going to cook two now, I'll leave the rest for another day. Now you can leave it in the marinade in the fridge for around 2 or 3 days, if not, freeze it, that is still fine. So after about 30 seconds we'll flip our skewers. This just seals one side of our chicken, so we can leave all that juice and flavour inside, we don't want to lose that. So guys, from this point basically every 30 seconds we're just going to flip our skewers again until the chicken is cooked all the way through. Alright guys, so it's been a total of 8 minutes now. Now just by touching the chicken, I can tell it's firm, it's not soft, my finger's not going in. So it's definitely cooked all the way through. If you're still in doubt guys, grab a little knife, just slice into it, simply make sure it's not pink. So we're just going to turn our heat off, and move these to the side and let them rest. Alright guys, so I've just served some pilaf rice here. And we're gonna place our skewers right next to it like so. And just how beautiful does that look? Now I've just got some extra harissa paste here which I'm gonna serve with it as well. And guys, that's all there is to it. I hope you like that guys, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.